And it may have been a pre-existing injury. That's what I'm thinking about. Because that you remember yes. that, that uh, Forrest Please. hurt Mosley in the body pretty badly late in the fight, in yep. their first fight. But I haven't saw too much, I don't think, that unless it might have been an existing injury. But who knows? Harold, he landed a great left hook to the body right there. CompuBox numbers through six. Average per round, Quarte 19 out of 45. Forrest 16 out of 77. Harold, had a, how do you have to do <laughs> Look at Jim. 58, 56, four rounds to two. Ike Bazooka Corte. Jim, I gotta tell you something. Round six, Vernon Forrest was running away, and that's all there was to it. But in any case, I, I think that Vernon's losing the power of that jab. That it seems that the jab is, is not as powerful, not as sharp. On the other hand, Corte coming in, landing the power shots, and I always favor the power puncher. Four to two, Corte. I have it three, two, and one for Corte. of Quartes' ribcage had, had to do with nothing more than an adjustment in his protected cup. He saw them reach into his trunks and pull the cup up. Yeah, that's what it appeared, but I think it may be something that's wrong. Maybe it's something that existed before, uh, but regard, because they didn't, he didn't tell them that something's wrong. It seemed like they already knew it coming into the fight. That was what I gathered from the conversation. Forrest has not been able to dig anything significant to the ribcage rib in this round. And Quarte, who momentarily looked exhausted at the end of the sixth round, has been fine on his feet in the seventh. He's still exhausted, but he's walking forward out of automatic motion, which a lot of veteran fighters do that even if they're tired. They just keep walking forward without even thinking about it. And that's what's keeping Vernon on the defense, and Vernon is not really getting set to maximize his punching power. And the stronger Quarte is at times just reaching out and throwing Vernon into the position where he wants him. Okay. I don't see Corte landing many punches no, here, to no. tell you the truth. He's walking forward, but it's ineffective. He's pressing the fight, and that's about it. Actually, Vernon is landing the punches now. Haven't seen many of those either, though. This was kind of a nothing round. Quarte's little flurry at the end may turn out to be significant on scorecards. Uh, don't allow him to tap tap you when he does that he gives the impression that he's piling out points move keep moving don't let him tap tap you don't let him tap tap you I mean short 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 jabs short jabs that's ron stevens the commissioner here in new york who's done an excellent job and not only that he has an off 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 broadway play being produced starting in september called cherry's patch about a New York fire department precinct. Popular and glamorous subject here in New York. Round eight of a scheduled 10, copy box numbers in seven, Quarte 13 out of 46, Forrest 17 out of 81. Forrest with a 14 to five edge in power shots according to copy box, Harold Letterman agrees and gives the round to Vernon. Tightening up the scorecard for Harold Letterman and leaving the outcome of the fight in doubt going down the stretch. Well, I have it 3-3-1, three, three, and one, which reminds me that I bought a tie this afternoon, and I thought, well, maybe we'll have a draw tonight. <laughs> well, you know, Quarte is the aggressor, looks physically stronger, but actually the punches that he's landed have been really a, dropped quite a bit in the last few rounds. 
and Vernon has landed more punches. Well, when the when the action comes down like this, it favors the boxer. Two good body shots by Forrest. Very good move. He landed by the punches, and then he looked at the body and threw a right hand right on the side of the head. This is one huge deficiency for Quarte. He seldom throws a significant body shot. He spends all three minutes usually focusing on the head. Occasionally, he'll reach out and tap you to the body, but by and large, never seen him really hurt anybody to the body. He is aiming to hit your head with his jab. He's, he's moving forward a lot now, but he's getting very careless with his feet and his balance as he's moving forward. Good left hook inside by Quarte. Forrest moves away from that. Good left hand body shot by Vernon. Straight right hand landed for Forrest. Quarte comes back looking for more. There's a body shot from Ike Quarte, but Forrest's was the stronger shot. There's a minimum swelling around the right eye of Vernon Forrest. That's to be expected because of the way Bazooka Quarte relies on his left over and over and over. And now another fusillade of Quarte jabs. And Forrest moves away from that. But he doesn't count a punch at the time. This has been an active round for Quarte. And Forrest lost his balance after the right hand, which may have made it look to some people as though Quarte wobbled it. Neither fighter has been able to establish Dominance. Quarte has looked physically more stable and more strong, and I think that's been the biggest difference in the fight. And his punch with much more compact authority. And if this was an even fight coming to this round, in my own personal view, Quarte would now hold the lead because this, it seems to me, has been a nice Quarte round. And he's very exhausted, but he's still pushing the fight. Touch him, touch him, like Mark said. Keep baiting him. Touch him, touch him. Then let some more, okay? Mm -hmm. He's throwing one shot at a time. Don't pull out. Don't. Now you're fighting according to the plan. Let the two hands go. Well, we want to win. We, we don't want to send it to the judges. We don't want to give it to the judges. Are we winning? Yes, we're winning, but we still have to be a little bit more active. The way you're going, that's the way you could slip the punches and then start with a hook. Start with a hook and then stretch yourself out. Slip punches start with a hook. That's what Quarte was doing quite clearly in round one. Emmanuel, between fights, you heard Hasim Rahman say that he wants your man Vladimir Klitschko. If no deal is made for Klitschko to fight Shannon Briggs, do you want Vladimir to fight Hasim Rahman in November if Rahman can get past Moskayev? That is the fight that we wanted in the beginning. It's just that he was already committed and he had to get out of his mandatory with Moscow. But Vladimir Klitschko made it very clear to me that he wants to unify the heavyweight titles. He's really not interested in fighting mandatories and other fights unless it's a unification fight. So we would welcome the fight. But I would want him to get a promise from Hasim that he won't do anything crazy like he did in South Africa. What is that? Too crazy in South Africa. Knocked <laughs> out the fighter. Knocked out my fighter. Oh, I got it. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, he's yeah, got I'm a promise sure to be a gentleman. That one. Right. Yeah. And, and in case you don't know, incidentally, Emmanuel Stewart is the trainer of Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah. I, well, then, 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 then tell him to refuse the fight, Briggs, please. <laughs> you know, I have so much respect for Hasim Rockman because they didn't have the amateur background of Moscow, or Lennox, or any of those guys, or Klitschko's, but he learned to fight as a professional the hard way. Now, of all the guys who've come to the heavyweight division late out of other sports, Rock is the best. Yes, anyway. yes, he does. And, and even the, the knockout, when I look at with Moscow, he was an exhausted, inexperienced kid, and, and he got caught. Meanwhile, we go back to the action in the ninth round between Ike Quarte and Vernon Forrest, and Quarte landing left hands, backing Forrest up. And now here's a low blow by Forrest, and Quarte is spitting as he goes to a neutral corner for a rest. That is at one least point. the third one, and he is one taking point, a point. Low one point, low blow. One point, Could be low significant low. in the scoring of the fight. You, okay? you know what I think when I watch this? I'm thinking back to the start of the fight okay. when, when Mercanti was upset with Forrest, 
over refusing to shake hands. I'm not saying that's why he did this, why he took the point away, but he took it away. Time in. Let's go. Don't retaliate now. Touch off. Sorry. It's incumbent now on Vernon Forrest to win this round, to get an even round out of it. He's got a minute in which to do it. Now let's see if Quarte will press his advantage and try to get a two-point round, which could conceivably be decisive at this point in the fight. So this minute is the biggest minute of the fight so far. And Forrest knows it as he begins to up his punch output. Good left hand by Quarte. Right hand by Forrest, partially blocked. Those punches partially blocked. Good left hook inside by Quarte. Forrest lands a right. Gets in a jab, but with no big impact. Quarte pressuring and chasing. Looking for the two-point round. Quarte has recovered with vigor from the low blow and knows that he may gain control of the fight if he can win this minute. Forrest trying to flurry. Quarte stops him with one left hand. Vernon Forrest may be up against it, going to the 10th round. 